Hang on. Get this started. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, we should be good now, actually. So we'll see. Hang on now. Let me go over to my other input screen. The delay in sound for me is going to be kind of weird with this game, but um, we should be good. <coughs> okay, as we continue on our playthrough through Metal Gear Solid games, um, this is going to be for Metal Gear. You know what, actually, before I do it, before I start, I think I'm going to move the chat to under my camera for this one. Just because it makes a little bit more sense. So hang on a second here, guys. Uh, trying to think if there's anything else. Like, where's alert box to? It's there. Goal is there. Um, I should have planned this beforehand. <laughs> and not been a dumb dumb, but, you know, here I am. It's okay. Just give me a second. That way it's not, like, over the middle of the screen. You know what I mean? Because that would be really annoying. Do, 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 do. I've already got the music, like, stuck in my head. <laughs> okay. And that should be good, I think. Yeah. Should be better. Because uh, I don't want the chat taking up the screen for, like, the actual game. I feel like that would, like, ruin the entire experience here. Okay. Hang on now. Should be good to go now. I hope the sound is okay. If it's not okay after this part, or if someone tells me otherwise, I'll change it. But, you know. Do, 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 do. Okay, here we go think we're good now time to start it I've been actually waiting to do this I've never beaten this game before no I have beaten this game before I haven't beat the first the second game before so once we get to that that's gonna be a whole nother thing game start original or easy I don't know what easy entails I don't want it to be easy per se but this game is kind of cryptic but we'll go with original if we get stuck we'll just have to look it up because I know this game has, like, walls you have to blow up, but they don't really necessarily have any visual cues of where the walls are. I think it's you have to punch the wall and hear a different sound or something like that. Anyway. Let's go. This is Big Boss, Operation Intrude, N313, infiltrate the enemy's base, Outer Heaven, and destroy the ultimate weapon, Metal Gear. Let's go over the details first. Make contact with Gray Fox and find the location of the ultimate weapon, Metal Gear. Let's use frequency 120.85 for all communications from now on. Over. <coughs> I'm still a little bit sick. I've been sick the last few days, so if I sound... My throat sounds weird, that's why. <clears throat> and coughing and whatnot. Um, okay, so before we uh, start, I just want to put it in context for anyone who doesn't get it. This is the very first Metal Gear game, like, ever. Like, this is the very first in the series. But story-wise, it takes place after Metal Gear Solid Five. So, the person that's giving us our mission is Big Boss, being... Venom Snake at the end of the last game, the person we played as the entire last game, and the person we're playing as in this game is Big Boss's clone, Solid Snake. Because remember, it said there was two clones. Because there was Eli, and then there was another one. This is the other one. So, yeah. I know, confusing, but here we are. So this is where it all started, folks. This is uh, the version on the 360 HD collection, if anyone's wondering. Just because I wanted to get like a clearer picture, I could have just went with the original MGS3 one, but I was like, eh. Now, I do kind of remember some stuff that I need to do in this one, but I don't remember everything. 
And I do remember that there's an item thing where you can pick up an item and leave and come back and the item will be there. I think you can only do it three times. Whether that's intentional or not, I don't know, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Because more rations better. Okay, and there's a guard that should come out of here. I mean, we can go in and get them, but there's one that comes out of here if we can wait a second. I remember some things about this game. Not everything, but I remember some things. I'm sure I'm going to get spotted multiple times and die and whatever, but... Um, this is the first time i played this game in a long time. Like, since MGS3 came out, probably. No, the NES version I played uh, before, too. But the NES version is not the same as this version. I think we go down here now, right? Because we have the key card. Oh yeah, don't mind. He's just telling us that we have to sneak. Like, no shit. Believe it or not, that was like a new concept for games at this time. <laughs> Because if you remember correctly, a lot of games from this era were like Contra, where you were just going in guns blazing and blowing everything up constantly. Oh. Uh. Oh, wrong button. There we go. Gotta, gotta equip the keycard. So it's like one of the really big first stealth games ever. They're remaking Metal Gear Solid 3, but this is a game that I wish they would actually just remake, honestly. Either this game or the second one, Metal Gear 2, would be a really good one to remake. Both very good games. I've never beaten Metal Gear 2 before, but uh, I would absolutely love to. So we're going to try and take our time. I'm not going to rush through anything here. We're just going to... Just going to play the game, that's all. Now the guards are really stupid in this game. They can only see in straight lines. So if you're even like on a straight line with them, but you're not directly in front of them, they won't see you. But we're going to be careful anyway. Okay, now if I remember correctly... There's some stuff over here, but we gotta be quick because I think the middle truck has a bunch of guards in it and we want to get out of it before they're there. Okay, so we got our gun. Go into the second truck here. Grab the mine. Punch this guy. Okay. And now we just want to go over this way without... Eh. God, this D-pad is so tricky. Okay, so what we do here is we wait because they'll have a shift change and they'll leave and then we can just go in there. Yeah. Cool. I remember some of the stuff in this game, but I don't remember a lot of it. Like, I probably only remember, like, less than a quarter. After that, I'm going to be completely lost. Uh, I keep pressing the wrong button for that. It's this one. Like, no shit. Watch out for the surveillance cameras. Like, duh. <laughs> okay. And I don't remember exactly how to get past these cameras perfectly, so we're just going to take our time here. We got to kind of... Be careful here, because I don't remember where the guards are on any of these spots. I think we need a level 2 card to get into that one. I could be wrong. I know we need a level 2 card for that door, I'm pretty sure, so. Okay. 
I said it was going to be really jarring and weird to come back um, to this game after all that, you know, after playing MGS5 especially because where like the graphics are so good and that's like the most advanced Metal Gear game and then come back to this is like weird. Now my question is if I equip... The gun. Oh, that's in the other one, right? It's in this side, yeah. Okay. Can I still, like, punch? Okay, so that's punch. And shoot is that button. Okay. I, I gotta make sure I'm remembering this stuff, because otherwise we're gonna be in trouble. Okay, I think that there's... I think the next room is filled with gas. I know that it comes up soon. And that's why we have to we had to get the gas mask, but I just remembered... Yeah. Yeah, I already know where it is because I already have it. Thanks, though. Oops, I keep pressing the wrong button. I keep trying to press, like, the select or start button for, like, my menu, but that's not what it is. It's actually the two trigger buttons, which is... Kind of good, but at the same time, kind of sucks. Um, I should probably take a ration, too, actually, because my health getting kind of low here. Health be getting kind of low. Now, I don't remember which doors we can actually get in here. I don't know if it's in any of them, honestly. This one? Okay. Okay. One thing you're going to notice about this game is that the storyline for this is going to be very similar to the storyline from Metal Gear Solid 1 when we get to it. Because it's kind of like a pseudo-remake, I guess. <sighs> Excuse me. I should probably just save here while we can, I guess, too. I was going to say, I don't think I've ever saved. Because <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to make plenty of mistakes on this, and then at least then we can just, you know, do our thing, and if we make a mistake, we can go back. If we screw up that bad. Oh, no. Is there a reason for me to go over this way? Like, can I pick that up? I can. Does that respawn when I go and leave and come back? It does. Oh, damn. I'm a dumbass. Yeah, no. I'm just gonna load over here, too. I know, I'm using save states. Technically, whatever. I don't care, okay? I just need to get through this game. Oh, it actually just saves me wherever my last checkpoint was. That sucks. Okay, um... What do we have, then? Okay, well, we have our gas mask and everything, so we're good. We just don't have any ammo. That actually sucks a lot. It's okay, because we get a lot of ammo coming up anyways. Like I said, this is going to be a lot of trial and error because this is such a jarring experience going from MGS5 to this. <clears throat> okay. So yeah, basically when there's items in a room like this, you can if you can leave the room and come back, you can do that. I think it's three times and you'll get uh, ammo. Like that. Just FYI. Problem with the gas mask stuff is that you need to have your a card equipped to get through the door, and then you need to like change it really quick like that. 
and then go back to the card again when you get to the next door. You can't have like more than one item equipped in, uh, in your item slot at a time, which is stupid. Oh, damn it. Oh, damn it. What have I done? What have I done? It's okay. It's only one guard. Maybe not. Oh, is it really just gonna do this to me and I have to I have to go back and do that? <sighs> I don't remember this game at all. I'm so bad at this. Probably gonna die. Could you like actually punch him though, Snake? That'd be great. I'm trying not to use my ammo, but you know. Oh, he got me. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of this in this for me. I think there's unlimited continues regardless anyway, so I'm not really worried. I, I never said this was going to be a smooth playthrough. Like I said, we were going to have... This is going to be me stumbling through this. Which is funny because I, I definitely say I'm a retro gamer. But, like... This is one of those games I don't have a lot of experience with either because tech, we didn't really get this game over here in... in North America. We got the NES version, which is really different. It's actually the whole beginning of the game is like a completely different game. Oddly enough. I was like, why is this pattern different? I should probably equip my gun actually. See, now we have full ammo, so... I think 50 is the maximum capacity. Could be wrong about that. Yes, I know, big boss. You don't need to message me every time that there's a different thing going on. So, like... I guess this is supposed to be us, like, infiltrating Mother Base, right? But, I mean, this technically on land in this game, which makes no sense, really. But I'm sure they didn't have that planned out from the beginning anyways, you know, as it is. I keep equipping the wrong thing, and it's very annoying. I could use the joystick to play this, but it's so weird. And I don't know if you know anything about Xbox 360, but the D-pad is not the best D-pad. It's very squishy. Yo... I don't know where the checkpoints are. Like, what are the checkpoints? Like, if I save, where am I going to start next? You know what I mean? <coughs> Hang on. Across here. I gotta make sure I don't actually die from this thing. Like a dumbass. Mm 
I mean, we don't need that many plastic explosives, but it's best to get as much as we can, I guess. Why they installed this on the base, I have no idea, but, you know. I mean, it's a security system. Okay, so we, we can only carry one. Okay, good. Good to know. Almost got caught there. <coughs> Does he go around? Probably, yeah. I think so. Some of these guards patterns are weird if you're not used to it. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of things to deal with here. I don't remember if I need to go in that door or that door. Uh, okay, well, we'll try this one first because... We have an opportunity. Nope. Okay, so we don't have a key card for that door. I don't think that we can get in this door either yet. I think we need a level two key card. I don't remember. I don't want to get too close to the camera. Oh, maybe we can. Never mind. Okay, yeah, this is the level two key card. Right? Cool. Okay. Um. <laughs> this inventory is like not the best. <laughs> um okay, we might we might as well like use one and take another one because like why not right okay I'm having fun playing it though I think this is a fun game. I think these old ones are actually really fun in their own way. Like, they're obviously, you know, they're very different from the more modern ones, but, you know, what do you want? Can I not use it? Really? I guess not. I would have figured I could, like, add more to my life bar, because, like, it's only half. But I guess your life bar probably goes up with your class, maybe. I could be wrong about that. Well, we know it's there. If we want it, we can come back and get it. You can backtrack in these games, so... That is a thing you can do. Burp, burp. Yeah, I'm aware, Snake. Thanks. Now, from here on, I don't remember what I'm supposed to do. I know we need a rocket launcher for here. I don't know where to get it. In order to turn off the juice, it's an electrified floor. Uh, you'll have to destroy the electrical power panel. You'll need a RC missile. Schneider, the leader of the resistance, should be able to tell you where to get one. Over. But how do I call Schneider, though? I'm sure I can figure this out. That was close. I'm sure we have to backtrack to get it. Why did the camera stop? That was weird. Like, see how this guy can't see me? Because I'm like on a slightly different plane than him. I always find that funny about this game. <laughs> I think there's a wall that we have to blow up, which is why we had the explosives. And I don't remember where it is, and maybe I should look it up. Because <coughs> I don't even know what room to be looking in, is the other thing. Um, 
Metal Gear RC Missile. Sorry, I know this is like cheating to some people, but I'm just trying to get through all of these games. <laughs> Kind of have an idea. I, th I think it's kind of where I'm thinking, anyways. Which is kind of a. I think it's one of these rooms. I think it's that one there. Because remember, one of these doors we couldn't get in. I'm pretty sure that's what's going on here. So I remember it was after the gas room, or not? Maybe it's this room. Yeah. See, all I had to do was backtrack. I would have found it anyways, but I'm I'm too stupid. Dang, I didn't mean to do that. Bro. Bro, am I actually gonna die? <laughs> this game is relentless when you get caught. It's so brutal. I gotta start from here, really? Ugh. <sighs> I'm gonna save again once I get the RC missile and do that thing. Um, I think we should be fine then. Cause I hate... Bro, like, how am I this bad? I should, it just should clear when I go back here, shouldn't it? Yeah. Okay. No mistakes. We can kind of power through this now anyways, cause we kind of know what we're doing. It's gonna be a lot of trial and error, methinks. There's rooms over there in that side area, too. I gotta remember that we should go over there at some point. Sorry, I'm having to backtrack so much, guys. I said this would be a rough experience, I wasn't joking. Bro, like, are you kidding me right now? Get out of here. It's okay, I guess we get extra rations soon anyway. Hi, Willow. I'm back. I'm saved. You are. Should, can I talk to you more? Like, no. You're just saved. Fair enough. Um, okay. Gotta remember the buttons. I'm not used to the buttons. Using the triggers for menus seems so weird. But I guess it kind of makes sense for this. Because, like, the left trigger is, um, <coughs> items and the right trigger is your weapons. So, fair enough. Fair enough. second door we gotta go in I gotta stop like being impatient with the cameras too because I'm very impatient about that okay so basically we save we save that guy we go over here we get our stuff and then we or get the second key card we come back and we open that door gotcha Killed by the rolling barrel of doom. Oh, I don't feel safe going. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna mess that up. This song I remember was in Metal Gear Solid 4 on like the iPod thing that they had in that game. 
we're not even close to that game yet, but um, <clears throat> it was in the iPod thing on that. There's like an iPod you can listen to like music, and uh, I remember I listened to this song a lot because this song is a jam. But I imagine listening to this for most of the game is gonna get kind of annoying after a while. We'll see here. Can I? No, I can't. Okay. Get in here. Grab that. Uh, equip that. I remember where the camera is too when we get out of here now. Just gotta go over and punch this guy real quick. There we go. And we can't go up there yet because we need the, the electrical floor is just what's up there. So here we just need to get rid of these guys. It's like a memory game. It's a memory game. We're not doing bad though. I know there is a part where you have to blow up a wall, though, by, like, punching it to figure out which wall is explodable. Like, there's not, like, cracks in the wall, like, in Zelda or something like that, you know what I mean? We did get the explosives, though, right? Yeah, okay, we did. Good. Okay, just don't want to get caught this time. Grab our RC missile. Okay, when we come out of here, the camera's gonna be at the top of the screen and the soldier's gonna be walking up, so we need to move down? Because I moved up the last time and that's why I got caught, right? No, it's the other way around. Damn it. Okay, well, we're going. We might be able to get out of this if we can, if we can handle the guards. They're at least dropping health. I didn't mean to do that. Are we good? There we go. Okay. <laughs> you can get out of alerts. Obviously. But, uh... It ain't always easy. It ain't easy being cheesy. I am determined to get through this without getting too many alerts. It's like, you know, wishful thinking. <laughs> but, oh, god damn it. That was close. That could have been bad. That could have been bad. Um, okay, what do we got here? We got this. We got three rations, so we're filled up on rations. Uh, we got our two key cards. We got our binoculars. We got our RC missile. We got our gun. We got mines. We got C4. Okay. Okay, now I gotta remember how to do this because I feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna screw this up, which I don't want to do. I'm also gonna try uh, saving, even though I don't think that it'll save from here. Uh, okay. So I'm assuming we just shoot and then aim it with the d-pad which is gonna be kind of annoying okay first try dang I gotta stop doubting myself I'm not as bad as I thought I was I don't know how long the stream is gonna be by the way because I'm not really feeling the best still um so we're just gonna play what we can and get through it and try to get at least to the next save point and then we'll uh probably stop there Um, now the thing with these key cards is some of these are level one doors too. And I meant to go back and check the other door that was back there that we didn't check, but I didn't. Oh well. Is this Gray Fox? Diane from the Resistance will provide support on frequency 120.33. Hello, Willow. Twenty point three three. 
I gotta remember these, don't I? That's not good. Oh, well, she's gone shopping. <laughs> Typical. Typical Kojima. I don't remember if it's safe to go up this way or the other way, and I don't like doing this, but... Do they just turn? I guess so. I don't know if we can go on any one of these doors, but we're gonna try. These guys are a different color, so I'm assuming that they are more dangerous. Okay, we can get in here. Oh, does this just like loop back around to that beginning area? Is that what this is? Whoa, okay. This is boss fight. How did that not kill you? Why is this guy being so difficult? Silencer. Okay. Suppressor, sorry. We came in the bottom door. Right? <coughs> that was a grenade launcher, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I must, I'm progressing, so uh, I'm going to try and save again. I don't remember where I can save to. I should look that up and see where the checkpoint is so that I know where I can stop recording. Uh, Metal Gear MGS 3. Where to save? Whenever you enter an elevator room, if you save after that, you'll you'll start inside said elevator room. Okay. So we need to make it to another elevator room. <sighs> so if we die, we're freaking screwed because there's going to be a lot of stuff to redo. Um, okay. Noted. Uh, so if I, like, go back inside an elevator room, does that count? Or does it have to be the same elevator? Does it have to be a different elevator room? Because there's one up here. Darn. Really? Really me, really? It's okay, we go in here. We should be good. Does it have to be the same one, though? I gotta look that up, too. I'm sorry. <laughs> You can use them as many times as you want. So I'm assuming, like, if I save while I'm in here, then it should save from this point, right? With these items, because I don't really don't want to have to redo everything again. That is a weird save mechanic, but, you know, we'll take it. I'm just checking another thing.
I think we're still going to try and progress, though, because I feel like it might be a thing where we need to get to the next... The next checkpoint, you know what I mean? Like, it can't be the same one. Which, if that's the case, that sucks, but... It's whatever. Okay, so there was another room down here. On the bottom that I think we didn't weren't able to access before, which we can now. This one. Yeah. Rescued. And we can go back the way we came this way. We don't need to go around again, I don't think. Uh oh. Not good. That was close. That was way too close for my liking. We didn't try that top door, did we? I can't get close to that guy without... <coughs> Wait for him to come over here first. Or go for this guy first. Do they come all the way over here? I don't think they do. I'm almost positive this guy doesn't. huge. That's big money. That's for, that's for a section with cameras that we haven't come to yet, I'm pretty sure. See, I remember a lot of stuff about this game, but not everything about it, and it's like, it's really weird to get used to. Okay, so this is a checkpoint then. Right? What does R mean? We're not doing good on rations right now, though, which sucks. That's okay. We can go back to that one room and get that other ration if we want to. Or we can just knock out soldiers and they'll drop them randomly. So, you know, it's a thing. We made it to this point. So we'll keep going for a little while. And if we don't get another checkpoint, then we'll just end stream here. I don't want to go crazy with this in one go. I just wanted to start it tonight at least, you know? This is Big Boss. I forgot to tell you. There's a wind barrier on the roof. Look for a bomb blast suit. Over. There's a wind barrier? What does that even mean? Oh. We can't go out. We need to go find a bomb blast suit. Okay. Well, we should be saved for now anyways. Maybe I'll just end stream here for now. Can we go down another floor? Because it looks like we can. <gasps> we can. Interesting. I'm fairly sure that we can use the cargo box in any of these areas as long as we stop when the cameras come over it. Yeah, see? And then you can kind of get past them if they're blocking an entire area you can't get past normally. Yes, the cardboard box has been in the games for this long. Like, it's been in the game for such a long time. Are you? No, you're permanently sleepy. Get out of here. Thanks for the ammo, though. This definitely be the we use the cigarettes to see through the lasers thing. <laughs> it takes off life though. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. We got this. Okay, so yeah, we do... I was right, we do get life after uh, we save a certain amount of people and stuff like that. The more POWs you save, the more the higher your life bar goes up and your class meter goes up. 
Gotcha. Okay, so level two is not even enough for there, so we need more than a level two key card to get in there. Noted. I have to try to remember what uh, floor we're on to when we're doing this because um, I need to remember like where we're to, what we have done, and what we don't have done, you know? Hazardous to your health. I like how they put, whenever Metal Gear puts smoking in the game, so you can see the lasers, so the smoke will like show you where the lasers are. But, uh, it, it takes off of your health. So they're like, smoking's bad, okay? Arya, stay asleep, will ya? So what did we get out of that just then? Did we get anything? We didn't, do did we? Besides ammo. It's okay, though. We don't need to get, like, crazy amount of stuff here. Oh, this is a weird pattern. Okay, so what, what's the pattern? They just walk back and forth? You kinda gotta get them when they're not looking at each other, you know what I mean? Oh no, they're changing the pattern. I wanna get this guy here first, personally. This guy. Oh my god, bro. How he didn't see me, I don't know. And I don't want to know. Is this good for here? I don't think any of these key cards are going to be good for this area, personally. But I could be wrong. Some ammo. And there's only explosives in the other room. Which I'm assuming what is what that other door is for. So we're full on ammo. Because we're class 2 now. We can we doubled our ammo <coughs> capacity. There's something we're supposed to do here. And I don't know what it is. Maybe it's explode one of those things. But I'm just going to... I think I'm going to go back to the elevator and save. If that's how that works at all. Which I don't think it is. Okay, I probably shouldn't actually you know what we can. Because we can just go like this. Although, maybe not. Because we don't want to... We don't want that guy to see us either. Because he stops there. Okay. Might actually be better off taking out this guy. I'm having fun though. I'm having more fun with this game than I thought I would. If I'm being honest. How in the heck am I going to get through here? How do I use the silencer that I have? Can be fitted with the suppressor. How do I... How do I fit it with the suppressor, though? Is that already equipped because it says accessory? I'll find out when I. Because <laughs> if I could shoot this guy, it would make it a lot easier, that's for sure. Okay. So we do have a silencer now. Cool. So we can't get in that door. We need a big. We need a higher class key card. Um.
if we have to do this again next stream, that's okay. We at least we know what we gotta do to get there. Like I said, this game is weird because like you don't want to have to go back and redo a bunch of things, so you really gotta take your time doing stuff and try to not you know get caught like immediately. Okay, so that's the floor we got off on. That's the floor we came in on. West basement, I would assume. R stands for roof, I assume. Okay, so there's dogs here. Can I just, like, punch this dog? So I can't, I can't punch dog. Okay. Gotcha. I can't shoot it, though. I don't really want to shoot a dog, but, you know. I like this music. I'm just assuming that we're probably n none of our key cards are gonna work down here because this is pretty uh pretty tight security wise. <coughs> I would assume there's probably a wall down here that we have to explode. And I don't know what one it is, so I'm going to have to figure that out. Because I would assume the bomb suit that we need is probably down there. Anyways, I'm just going to save here as if it makes a difference. <laughs> and, uh, and we'll come back to this next stream, I guess. Um... Where am I? Okay. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it very much. I will be back maybe tomorrow night or next night. I have banned one of the nights. So I'm not sure which one. If I decide to do that because I'm still not feeling good. Um, And uh, I'll see you guys then. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.